Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be starting the go-kart build. Um, we're just going to show you what we've done so far. My name's Chris. I'm Dave. So, let's get into it. Alright, so this is where we've got to so far. We've made the main chassis and uh, we've now just started on the double wishbone suspension mounts. As you can see, we've done the seat rails over the back, with, um, which we're going to have an aluminium seat mounted to. Um, the next part is going to be jigging the suspension mounts and then building the wishbones. Right, let's get cutting. suspension mounts whilst Dave's going to start cutting some more bits. So we've got our wishbone design here and we're working out all the measurements. Um, we're going to need to fit 150mm uh, coilover in there. Um, so we're just working out the Pythagorean of that. And uh, yeah, well, here we go. <coughs> we've uh, designed the wishbones on the table here. Um, Dream on table, just because that's all we've got. Um, we're just going to mark everything, the cutter link to length, and we're going to tack up the whole wishbone. Um, yeah. Is that better? I think that's better, huh? You want filming? Oh yeah, film. Go on then, film. Uh, I already am. <laughs> Fuck up. Just because. Can you make face mask for this one? You're not doing that. <laughs> Can you win the face mask for this one? Fine! Christopher! No, but only because, um... I want to look like a fair name, like I'm doing the coffee here. The shit's not you got a hat on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show today. We're going to be... Don't... I think. Just because I don't know where I trust them. Is that one? That's mine. Is that yours? That's yours. That's my one. Trump yours away, mate. Yeah. Should be drinking while you're working. Yeah, health and safety. Yeah, never okay. drink and work. <laughs> yeah. Seems <laughs> close to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> It's not better. Yeah, so much better. That's straight for you, isn't it? Cool. Right, it just needs a little bit of sanding. So come on, the bench here, guys, this way. <coughs> Move beers out of the way. Beers out of the way. just cut one of the parts for the wishbone and we've got the other bits here. Um, 
what we realised is we probably need to make a jig considering we're going to make four upper wishbones and four lower wishbones. So if we make one jig for the upper wishbones and then a jig for the lower wishbones, Sounds good. then we'll just see sort of where it goes from there. So if we make the jig now, let's get to it. Alright, so we've got our basic design of the wishbone here. It's going to be about 140 mil here, and then I can't remember what we did in length. Yeah, I know, it looks weird, I'm measuring the table. <laughs> right, so that's 200 mil down from there to there. So we've got to work out the size of this piece, yeah, um, and then we need to make basically like a T for the jig so I make like a piece that goes across to there that's the perfect width which obviously this being 20mm and that being 20mm that's obviously going to be 100 and then yeah we kind of need to work out the distance between there and there and then we'll just go from there really yeah Alright, so we've worked out the distance that we need for this tube here for the jig. Um, that needs to be about uh, 120mm. So if we get cutting and then we'll weld it up and then yeah, check everything, see if it's alright, and then we'll go from there. Alright, ba! Alright, ba! Is there any particular side of the line I should cut? Yeah. Or do we need each We bit? need the smaller bit. Which is smaller. this bit. I don't know. Yeah. So if I cut more to the other side of the line. To the left. To the left, to the left. I don't know if that's a good idea we're doing that one or not. the pieces now so we made the jig and as you can see we've cut up all the pieces and all the angles um, this is kind of how it's going to look without this T piece so what we're going to do now is just weld them up and yeah see what it looks like after weld her up alright so now I'm going to weld it up
Now I'm going to cut out the um, jig and then weld up on the insides where I can. Fully welded up, they're not the most prettiest of welds, but that will do. At least it's just, going to be right. Just like it's knitted. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. On to the next bit. Woo! Right, so this is where we're at this week. We made one of the wishbones. Um, this is the lower wishbone, which is going to mount on there. We're just waiting for the rose joints. This is our test shock. So basically that's going to be sitting in there, um, obviously we've yet to make the upper wishbone um, and then we need to make the hubs for the wheels and obviously we actually haven't ordered the wheels yet but we need to get some wheels. Um, so yeah we'll see you next week, if you've got any comments or anything or any ideas of what we should do or maybe what we haven't done then just let us know down in the comments. Um, just remember, I'm Chris, he's Dave, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>